while working on uh, any web development project there are some tools uh, such as languages or frameworks that we use specifically uh, for that particular web development project like for example here uh, we have used uh, node.js we have used certain libraries like csv to json uh, we've used high charts to show the visualization and there are some other tools uh, that are generic which are applicable irrespective of uh, irrespective of the software uh, project that you're working on today uh, we will learn more about we have already been using uh, some of them today we will learn more about uh, why they are important as well as uh, how to how are we using them uh, in this particular project you must have seen that uh, in the previous uh, video which covered the web development project we've been using the terminal so the terminal is like a generic interface to talk to your system um, it, it the the interface is very simple the interface is uh, text based it's like a chat platform uh, with which you can communicate with your system more directly and because of it's also it's very simple as well as quite powerful uh, so we have used some of the commands that we have used is like listing files in a particular directory looking at where in which current uh, directory we're currently located in pwd stands for print working directory ls stands for displaying lot listing all the files uh, we have also used like changing directories to a parent directory or changing back to a home directory uh, we've also looked at uh, like creating directories mkdir or uh, creating a new file like using touch or copying files from one particular directory to another or even moving files from one particular directory to another so we've used some of these basic commands with which uh, we generally try and interact with the file system and eventually you will see that uh, this platform is quite powerful and it is widely applicable uh, to any uh, software project so it is important that you learn the basics of how to use uh, the terminal so for that we have a very good course uh, designed by udacity so it's a Linux command line basics. So it will, uh, most of the commands here should work in a bash shell. So if you're using a Windows machine, you can download git bash and uh, run all of these commands. So you can uh, take this course and there are uh, three lessons. They only cover uh, the absolute essential, which is good enough for you to get started. But there are some things that I want you to pay attention to when you are go doing this course. Uh, one is you will learn uh, there are different uh, there are videos that cover different commands and as and when uh, you learn a particular command i want you to try it yourself for example let's say uh, we go to like shell commands and then let's say here there are different uh, shells uh, shell commands for example um, file names and content or let's say ls or options to ls so every single command that you learn now let's say you learned about uh, making a directory or removing a directory so let's say when you do mkdir and let's say you uh, create a new directory and you want to call that as ipl2 okay so now we want to see uh, whether it was created so you use ls and you see whether ipl2 was created so we see that it is actually created so and then let's say we move into ipl2 and then we create another directory here called nested and then here nested is created i can go inside nested so what i'm trying to demonstrate is when you learn a particular command uh, you can even clear your screen uh, when you learn a particular command you have to actually open your terminal and type it out and at least for these basic commands you have to repeat uh, each particular command at least 10 times say it out loud and uh, see what it is going to do expect what it is going to do and then verify that it has actually happened like for example, if you want to move to the parent directory, you know cd space dot dot will move you to the parent directory. And then you have to see that now the parent, the directory has changed from IPL2 to projects. So this is, and then to, 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 to keep repeating this, so to get more practice, you can go inside IPL2 once again and then come back. So you have to try and repeat some of these basic commands uh, at least 10 times uh, so that it comes natural to you when you are actually working on a software project. Uh, without that there will be there will be too much of friction it's like you know you want to type 
uh, you want to send an email but then you're still struggling to find the characters on your keyboard so that's not such a pleasant or a smooth experience so we want to kind of master the fundamentals so what i'd recommend is that learn about each command and when you get uh, when you learn about new every new command i want you to go back to your terminal practice it at least 10 times and then you go ahead so this is one of the tools that you need to uh, kind of learn very well uh, to in order to be successful in doing any kind of software project and the other tool that we've been using and it's very important again for any kind of software project is using version control so by now you should know that you know any project will consist of files and folders and eventually as we build the project we will be going through different versions of this particular project and uh, we'd like to keep track of how we are making changes and how we can roll back to a particular previous version if needed and we can see uh, how what are the changes that get shown as part of each uh, each particular change in version for example here uh, so each version is called uh, is, is or one particular stage in a software project is called a commit you'll learn more about git commits how to create a git repository uh, so we'll be using git as a version control system for our uh, for our version control system here uh, so here this is a particular commit and you can see that in this commit there were a few lines added so to be more specific there were problems that were added as part of this particular change so now this gives us very uh, clear detail as to how this project was built and in case we need to go back to a different version or you know come come and merge uh, two versions of the project we will be able to do so so git also is like an absolute essential and it will become a part of all the projects that you will be working and every single change uh, meaningful change that you will be making to the project you will be using it to maintain uh, track of different commits so for this also we have a very good course uh, it's called version control with Git again by udacity so you can take this course and uh, learn about all the all the concepts and as in uh, like and as you're learning needless to say you have to practice every single uh, command that you learn like how do you write from how do you initialize a git repository how do you create one, how do you make commits how do you roll back to uh, different uh, how do you roll back to different uh, commits or versions of your particular project you need to go through every step and then uh, practice practice each command so that you're comfortable uh, using Git. and when you will be submitting your uh, project this time let's say for for example the ipl there'll be two aspects to your submission one will one aspect will be a hosted uh, website where we can see or anybody can see your project live and then the second part of your submission will be a git repository uh, which you can put up either let's say on gitlab or github and uh, here this will give us access to all of your code uh, including like all files and folders as well as we'll be we should be able to see how you built uh, this project uh, with different uh, commits uh, as and when you made progress in the project so these will be two aspects and uh, so for this, you need to learn both uh, how to use the command line, which will help you throughout your uh, web development journey, as well as uh, Git, which is again, very generic and very important uh, to learn. So go ahead, uh, finish both of these courses uh, and then practice every single command that uh, is covered multiple times uh, and then uh, start using both your terminal as well as Git in every single project that you use. So that is uh, so hopefully you'll be able to build a good foundation in these two skills and it will help you as and as you uh, go ahead learning more tools.